Hi, happy Sunday to you. I hope you have a good day of rest, and if you have to work, don't work too hard. Um, let's finish Philippians today. Uh, this is a good verse, and it's a song too. Be anxious for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. The peace of God will guard your heart and mind through Christ Jesus. Do not be anxious about anything. Don't worry, but in everything, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving. So that's a little kid's song. Uh, Vacation Bible co School is coming up this summer, so that'll be a lot of fun. They have great songs that you can't get out of your head, which is good. Philippians 4, 8. If there is any virtue and if there is anything pra praiseworthy, meditate on these things. True, noble, just, lovely, good report. True, just, pure, lovely, good report. Meditate on these things. Whatever is true, noble, just, pure, lovely, good report. So keep your mind on good things. Keep your eye on the prize. If there is any virtue and if there is anything praiseworthy, meditate on these things. And if you're an English second language learner, there's a lot of THs there. If there, and stick your tongue out, if there is any virtue and if there is anything praiseworthy, meditate on these things. I, as a child, I had a problem with THs. Philippians 4.11, I have learned in whatever state I am to be content. Be happy in whatever state you are. I'm hungry. I'm full. I'm abounding in things. I suffer need. So I've learned in whatever state I am to be content. I know what it is to be in need, and I know what it is to have plenty. Philippians 4.12, so be happy in the Lord, whether you're hungry or full. It's easier to be full, isn't it? Let's do that one more time. That's an important one. I have learned in whatever state I am to be content. I know what it is to be in need, and I know what it is to have plenty. And I think he goes on, and I didn't draw it out. I should. I'll look at that today. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Amen? You can do anything. Philippians 4, 13. Well, reasonable things, but you can do it. Have a baby, get married, go to college. Uh, you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. And you could that's one that you could put your name in. Jill can do all things through Christ who strengthens Jill. That's hard TH. I Jill can do all things through Christ Jesus who strengthens Jill. Christ gives me strength to do all things. Bless you. Christ gives me strength to do all things. Philippians 4.19 My God shall supply all your needs. So look around. What is God supplying you with? All your needs. Your, your God shall supply all your needs. Jill's God shall supply all Jill's needs. Or Jill's God shall supply all your needs. Philippians 4.19 My God will meet all your needs. That's another song. My God shall supply all your needs according to his riches and glory. Do, 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 do. Jehovah Jireh cares for me, for me, for me. Jehovah Jireh cares for me. Anyways, um, wow, we're on Colossians already. Uh, drawing ideas. Set your mind on things above, not on things of the earth. So you can draw that down here on a separate piece of paper. Draw, let your conversations be always full of grace, seasoned with salt. So a lady looked at my book the other day and said, oh, it looks like my journal. So you could always have a notepad or have some paper. Always take notes. Uh, Mark Twain had a notepad and always took notes. Colossians 4.3, pray that God will open to us a door for the word. Pray that God will open to us a door for the word. The word is uh, the word of God. Let your conversation be always full of grace, seasoned with salt, so that you may know how to answer everyone. So let your conversation be always full of grace. 
seasoned with salt so that may you know, may know how to answer everyone. Hi, how are you? Why do you believe that you do? So how long is this read Colossians and stop? My doodles on Colossians. Set your mind on things above, not on things of the earth. Uh-oh. <laughs> so he's looking above. I don't know why I missed that. Or he's actually he's not looking. Set your mind. So it's, he's got little drawings from his head. He's setting his mind above. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness. Keep your mind on good things. God, Jesus, Holy Spirit, set your mind on things above, not on things of the earth. The earth, we love the earth, but it's war, poverty. Just look at the news, but some bad news and good news. Good news of Jesus Christ. Focus on him. Here there, here there is no gentle, Gentile or Jew, non-Jewish non person. Here there is no Gentile or Jew, circumcised or uncircumcised. Barbarian, Scythian, slave or free, but Christ is, is all and in all. Colossians 3, 11. So in Jesus, there's no Gentile or Jew. We're all the same. Circumcised or uncircumcised. We're all at the same level. Barbarian or Scythian. Slave or free. Here, there's no Gentile or Jew. Circumcised or uncircumcised. Barbarian, Scythian, slave or free. But Christ is all and is in all. Colossians 3, 12. Put on tender mercies, kindness, humility, meekness, long-suffering. So I did a little paper doll here. Put on tender mercies, kindness, humility, meekness, long-suffering, patience. Colossians 3.10. Put on patience, kindness, compassion, humility, gentleness. Let's say that one more time. Put on tender mercies, kindness, humility, meekness, long-suffering. That's hard to do for me. But I'll do that right now. Putting it on. I'm putting it on my gloves and my jacket. Putting on patience, kindness, and putting it on my head. So get dressed in these kind of clothes. Tender mercies, kindness, humility, meekness, long-suffering. And throw away the old stuff, bad stuff. Let the word dwell in you richly. The word of God dwell in you richly. So it lives in you. Let the word of God live in you. Let Jesus live in you. Colossians 3.16 and tomorrow we will move on to first and second Thessalonians. Have a good Sunday. Bye now.